Dear students, welcome to the video lecture of the data input and output functions in C programming. Data input output is our topic. So the input out function responsible to receive the input from the user and print the output to the appropriate output device like monitor. The standard input out function are categorized into two. One is formatted function, another one is an unformatted function. Formatted function, we have a proper format specifier and we are able to the format the way the output is displayed that is known as a formatted and as well as for the input also will decide okay what kind of input we can receive. Okay, that is one as a formatted input and output function. The formatted input function is a scan of, and formatted output function is a print of. Unformatted out, uh, the input output function, unformatted function, there is no formatting. Okay, and generally we will get a, we will receive the data from the as it is from the user and we display the data. That is one as an unformatted uh, input and output function. Generally, the info, unformatted input or function are applied to the characters and strings. Okay, not with the other data types. The input functions, unformatted input functions are get c get, get c get c, get care, and gets. The output functions, unformatted output function are put c get, put care, puts. So which we are going to discuss everything in detail, step by step. The first we start from starts from the unformatted and input and output uh, statements. These statements are used to input and output as a single or a group of characters. Okay, from the input device or to the output device. The input function, okay, it will receive the a character or a group of character from the input device and send the a character, a group of character to the output device. The single character input or function will go. So we are going to we are going to start to discuss. But first, we are going to discuss about the get CH, the input get CH function, the output put CH function. Okay, the get CH function, the syntax of the get CH function is given here. It's a character followed by a variable name. So we have to deal with the character variable only, get ch function, and equal to get ch. This is the syntax, okay? So the, the character which is received from the get ch function is returned immediately, which should be stored in the character variable. Here, character is a data type of the variable. Let's say character is a data type. The variable is a variable. Get ch is the function. This function waits for any character input from the keyboard but it won't echo the input character on the output screen. Okay, it won't echo the character. The character entered by the user cannot be echoed. And actually, as an example, character x equal to get ch, and we have to print the character, we have to use a put ch with an open and close bracket, we have to pass the, the variable. So it will get displayed in the monitor. Put ch function, syntax, put ch and character variable. Okay, put ch, open and close parenthesis, within the parenthesis, you have to mention the character variable and semicolon. Here the character variable is a valid C variable of the type of character data type. Okay, character variable is a uh, the valid character data type. Okay, valid character data type. And put CH function is used to printing the character to the screen at the current cursor location. Okay, so the, where the cursor resides in the screen and that on that place, okay, the put CH will display the result. So this is get CH and put CH function. Next, we are going to discuss about the get care and put care function. Okay, this is also doing the same. Okay, they used to uh, get a singular group of character from the input device and display a singular group of character to the output device. Uh, the syntax is character followed by a variable equal to get care. So care is a data type of the variable. Care, care is a data type okay, of the variable. Get care is the function. It takes the input from the uh, input stream STDIN. So get care is take the input from the input stream STDIN. Okay, then the syntax is character uh, character x equal to get care. Character x equal to we have to give it as a get care. Get care, and we have to print. We have to give a put care. Okay, put CH we also give. We are able to give a put care. Also, we are able to give. So likewise, uh, we are having a uh, put care function. We have to pass the character variable. The character variable is a valid C variable of the type of character data type. This function writes a single character to the standard output stream. Okay, that, that is STD, STD out, STD out, okay, STD OUT. 
so characterize so we have to display it by using a passing character variable x inside the put car we are able to display it in the uh, out, output stream next we are going to discuss about the get cgc function this is also a non standard function and declared in the conio.hr header file okay it is declared in the conio.hr header file it reads a single character from the keyboard and returns immediately without even waiting for for entered key when the key is entered it will immediately echo it okay get cgc function immediately echo it on the screen okay the syntax is character and variable get cgc character is a type variable is a variable name get cgc is the function what it will do it will echo the character character x equal to get cgc okay what will store the character actually it will return the character and as well as it will echo the character in the screen okay that is a get cgc function we'll see an output as include sva.h y it mean i am declaring a character variable character x comma y so uh, using a put statement okay put statement used to print a set of statement uh, put slash n is a new line character enter a character ask the user to enter a character first i am going get a get cgh okay if i am using get cgh function and entered character is stored in the variable x okay i, I write again puts function the entered character is okay this will be displayed the entered character is put cgh x the character will be displayed again i am i am and now asking the user to enter another character puts slash in the new line enter another character so get char i am using get char function now get char will get the character and as well as return the character immediately to the, the variable x okay then we using put char function and displaying the variable next i am asking the user to enter the another character okay then what i am doing so x equal to get c get c what it will do when you enter a character it will echo it in the screen and it will store in the variable x okay we'll see it in the example so i am declaring a, a variable x comma y as i discussed enter a character i am using get ch function and store it in the variable x and i ask the user to uh, okay enter the entered character is okay i am just printing it i just display that entered character is and i display it by using put ch function again i am writing a puts enter another character this time i am getting using get char function then what it will do it will store it in the variable x using a put char function i am printing it in the screen now i am using the use of the put ch function for example i can give a in the y variable i am getting a get ch function i am entering a character then actually there is no put ch so i am using put ch function and uh, y okay the enter character will get printed okay we will run the program okay this is our program we will run the program and check the result we'll run the program i have to forget to give a semicolon okay so we have to run the program again so enter character first i am using get cgh function a so the display enter the character is a okay the put cgh function display it enter another character i am entering another character b okay so now get char i am get the b from get char function and display using put char function so get cgh and get, get char uh, they don't echo the input in the screen only i am using a put cgh and put char only the value are get printed on the screen now i am using get cgh i am entering a value c what happened the first c is actually is a echo is just a minute i will i will i will just to make you understand i will make this as a comment okay now put cgh won't work so you will see how the get cgh work run the program so enter a okay enter a b now echoing a character i am entering a va value c what will happen the put cgh immediately it echo the echo the output to the screen when it is receiving there's a difference between the get cgh and uh, get char and, and uh, get cgh get cgh and get char won't return a uh, won't echo the character in the monitor okay, but get cgh will echo the character in the monitor so for example when i'm using a i'm using here a puts function puts i am slash n new line character okay the entered entered character is slash n okay again a new line i'm giving it now we will check the demo okay i got to was just a going to remove the slash which is given for a comment okay so a get cgh function it won't echo it but put put cgh function put this on screen i'm entering a uh, o so you now get char function by using put char function printing it again i am entering another character that is g what will happen the enter character is g get cgh immediately echo the character first then the output is printed by using 
the put save the put ch function okay so that's it for this video lecture we'll discuss the gets gets puts in the next video thanks for watching